Look at that carp. I should have brought my carp gear. All right, today I'm taking you on one of my bait fishing adventures. In a couple of days, I've got a guided fishing trip, so I want to make sure that I have a smorgasbord of bait to bring with me. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I have already caught the skipjacks in my boat. I put them in my good cooler so they can stay good a couple of days. This time of year, it's really, really hard to catch skipjacks, so I had to go to a couple of my top secret spots to catch them. That's why I didn't film it. In the summertime, skipjacks are spread out everywhere. They're all over the lake, they're all over the river. Sometimes you can find them below a dam, but there's, you know, 20 or 30 boats below the dams this time of year as well. So I didn't want to fight all that boat traffic chasing skipjacks. But they do hold up in other spots, so I'm able to catch a few for a fishing trip. Now this spot is my bluegill and carp spot. There is a pond over here with a spring that empties into the main creek. And the bluegill and the carp, they love to hang out right down there where this cooler water enters the main creek. They will go in and swim up to the spring, but that's off limits now. There's a no trespassing sign and now there's a, an actual fence keeping people from getting over to the rocks where the spring is. This is all county property and when the county like sold that property over there or the farmer or whoever owned it, the home's property line literally go into the middle of this pond. I used to fish that spring every summer when I was a kid and now nobody can fish it. But I'm going to get some worms in the water, which these are night crawlers. The local store didn't have any big reds, so I just went with night crawlers and see if I can catch something. And boy, oh boy, there's a lot of minnows down there. Let's stop talking and let's start fishing. This is why I'd rather use red worms. These night crawlers are pretty big. And I think this is a size four bait boss hook, maybe a size two. So I gotta cut this guy up in tiny chunks to get on my tiny hook. There we go. <laughs> oh, first thing, really? Whoops. There we go. It's a nice hot day, but this wind is helping out a lot. Cooling it down a little bit. We've had 100 degree weather the past few days. There we go. That's a good sized one. Well, I wanted to show it to the camera, not dirty. <laughs> nice, nice piece of bait right there. I'm not keeping these guys alive, I'm putting them on ice. It's summertime and my garage is just too hot to keep bluegill alive in the live well for a couple of days. But if I keep them on ice, they'll be nice and fresh when I go to use them. And I'm only going to catch a few. I don't want to catch too many. I've already got about, I don't know, five skipjacks and I'm going to get five more later on. So 10 skipjacks and maybe five bluegill. If I can catch five here, you, you never know. That one took about three or four casts to catch. There we go. <laughs> right through all the minnows. A little one. And I'm going to use them anyway. I might be able to use them whole. Just so I have plenty of bait for a client. This guy's behaving enough, I might be able to use it as a thumbnail. Okay.
still on the same piece of night crawler. And they robbed me of my bait. Right, I'll show you guys real quick what I'm using here. I think this is a two or four size bait boss hook by Flea Fly Tackle. If I'm saying that right. It's basically a miniature Team Catfish double action circle hook. And so far those two bluegill and other fish I've caught with this have been hooked in the corner of the mouth. Oh boy. <laughs> I always seem to do this whenever I'm fishing light gear. I got a really small split shot as a weight. And I've got these thrill crappie bobbers. I kind of like these. It's got a spring. And you pull the spring down and put the line around it. And let the spring hold the bobber in place. So far it's doing really well. And maybe a little bit better than the slip floats that I've been using. Of course, the fishing rod I'm using today and fishing reel is the Akuma Seamar. I think this is the C10, size 10, 5 foot. It's their really small rod and reel combo. And it's usually pretty cheap. The fish are not being easy today. Water might be a little bit too shallow to fish. I don't see if there's anything underneath the weed mat here. Make it really, really short because it's shallow water. I don't think there's anything under that muck. I can see my bait, but I don't see anything following it. I've caught them here before bluegill, but the water's got to be much, much higher. The water's kind of low right now. I've been hearing a lot of splashing underneath that tree that's over the creek, but I, I just, I can't get to that. Too bad I don't have a kayak. There you go, now you guys can see the tree. So I think there's some underneath that tree. I just can't get to them. There we go. Oh ho ho ho! Got me a bass! <laughs> Oh no! Oh, I gotta go down there and get him. Mmm, oh. mad. Oh, oh. I made it to the water. <laughs> Got a bath. On night crawlers. Creek fishing at its finest. That was around those minnows. So that's probably what he was eating. Those minnows. Oh! Snagged up. There's a lot of wood in this water. You can even see there's a lot of wood on the ground too from when the creek flood. Oh, delayed reaction on that one. And he took my bait.
cleaned me out. Now the key to using worms, you have to leave your hook exposed. I know there's an urban myth that says that you need to not show your hook to the fish, but that will just keep you from catching the fish. There we go. That's a nice sized one. Bait boss hook right in the corner of the mouth. I let him take it for too long. If this was a regular smaller hook, it would have swallowed it. Now will this guy behave for the camera? <laughs> nice bluegill. Perfect bait right there. Whoa! Perfect dirty bait. I still got a little bit of bait left. There we go. <laughs> nice. Another one. Right in the corner of the mouth. Now I am honorary promotional staff for Team Catfish, and they own Flea Fly. They're pretty much one in the same company. That doesn't mean their products aren't good. Whoa. <laughs> Bluegill. Uh-oh. Well, I'm getting called away now. I'm going to go catch some skipjacks with a buddy. I really hope you enjoyed this video and may have learned a thing or two. And if you're interested in booking a fishing trip with me, check out my website at fishingwithbilly.com. I do still have a few dates open, so give me an email and find out what days I have open. And you can always watch me here on my YouTube channel, where I take you guys fishing at least once a week for free. Thank you guys a lot for watching. And I hope to see you next time.